What's going on, Power Pals? My name is Chris. You're watching the Capacity Channel. Okay, so today the shirt of the day is a Finn Balor shirt <clears throat> from WWE. Uh, I am actually quite a big fan of the, uh, wrestling, so there is a new fact about uh, me. So yes, I do watch lots of wrestling. Oh, well, used to. Uh, and Finn Balor is one of my favourites as the Demon King for all those wrestling fans out there. Okay, so today, let's talk about Pokemon. So, I've got a few things to show, actually. <clears throat> um, one, I'm going to do... Oh, there's, there's so many things that I actually have to do. Uh, and I might separate them into... maybe. It actually probably is worth three videos that I've actually got to do here. <clears throat> um, okay, so the first one I'm going to do is talk about some boosters that I have. Um... Which, ah, uh, give us a second. There we go. I found it. I found what I'm looking for. Okay, so today, talking about rockets and their booster packs. So, <clears throat> da -da! what we have here is a Japanese rocket booster. So, uh, what I quite like about this is it has all, f well, actually, let me show you three designs, but I know that there are four designs for the English. But each <clears throat> of those designs actually has its own booster. As I shall show you. So the first one is the Team Rockets, Jesse and James. Which matches the top there, as you can see. And then the next one uh, is Gyarados. Which, as you can see, matches that one pretty well. The third one is Giovanni. And he sits there. And okay, I've actually just realized that it's not um, missing in pack. It actually shows the pack. So the, uh, that's the English version. That is the Japanese version. So paired off side by side. So I do have all five rocket boosters. Now, the interesting thing is Jap uh, Japan only released one uh, booster design whilst... The English version got four. Um, don't actually know why. If you know why, then put it in the comments. But um, I'll show off the um, the booster pack. So oh, it might not get... There you go. <clears throat> Whilst it's in focus, I'm going to read it. So Team Rockets on the loose. The number of criminal incidents involving Pokemon has been on the rise. Some suggest it may have something to do with the rash of Pokemon kidnappings that have been occurring recently. Pokemon breeders believe that to be probably that to probably oh sorry. Pokemon breeders believe that to properly raise and evolve a Pokemon you have to treat it with love and attention. But what happens if a Pokemon isn't treated properly? Would it evolve differently? What's the secret behind this new threat to Pokemon and their trainers? Oh, sorry, went out of focus. It says, recommended for players ages 10 and up. Each player must have a 60-card deck for Pokemon cards to play. Wow. Oh, yeah. Um, but I really like um, boosters. I really like the old ones. Now, these won't be opened if you were thinking that I was going to open these. Sadly, you are mistaken. Um, I like to keep them in um, their original condition. So what I'll do is I'll probably pop these in back in the um, the frame <clears throat> that they once resided in. Um, so I can look at them in the future. I'm also doing that with the uh, Japanese boosters. So I have most of them. I just don't have the uh, basic one, which I will hopefully look to retain at some point in the future. Okay, so the second bit of this uh, video, uh, I will also show, well, I am returning them because they're not in the condition I was hoping them to be, uh, but I will also show you some fossil cards. Um, yes, yeah, so I've already spoken to the uh, seller um, and we already said that I, uh, he will take them back, so I'm very grateful to him for doing that. But Whilst they're here, I must, might as well show you because it's the Pokemon channel. Um, so I'm not going to comment on the cards. Um, just that, that, because it's the reason why I'm sending them back. 
so yeah, I'm not going to comment on the condition. I'm just going to show off the uh, the pictures. So we have Aerodactyl there, Arthur Kuno, and Ditto. Uh, we have Haunter there, Gengar, and Dragonite. Then we have Hitmonlee, Hypno, and Kabutops at the bottom there. Uh, let me know in the comment section which your favourite artwork is. So we have Lapras, which I know is my other half's favourite design. Uh, we have Magneton. And ooh, it's just gone out of focus there. Let's bring it back. There's Moltres. Uh, we have Zapdos, Raichu, and Muck. And then we have the non-holographic versions here, uh, which then transitions onto this page. Now the uh, the rare cards, we have Arbok, Koyster, and Ghastly, uh, Golbats, Gold Duck, and Golem. Just realized actually they sound awfully familiar to each other, They're awfully similar. Possibly because they both, all three, start with goal. Okay, then we have Graveler, Kingler, and Magma. I really like that design. It's like how he, it's like he's actually real, if that makes sense. He's, I've always loved that car when I first got it when I was a kid. We have um, Omastar, Sandslash, and Seedra. Then we have Slowbro, Tentacle. Cruel and Weezing. We have Ikans, Geodude, Grimer, Horsey, Kabuto, and Krabby. And then Omanite. Oh, sorry. Is that. Yeah, it's Omanite, isn't it? It's... Yeah, Omanite. Omanite, Psyduck, and Shelter. And then the final page of this fantastic set is Slowpoke, Tentacool, Zubat, Mr. Fiji, no, uh, not Mr. Fiji, Mr. Fuji, sorry. Uh, I don't actually know these off by heart. So there's Energy Search, Gambler, Recycle, and Mystery Fossil. Uh, interesting thing, Mystery Fossil, uh, even though it's a trainer, it actually is what um, starts the, the fossil evolution uh so you'll see it on kabuto uh kabuto and almost uh, yeah omanite as well as yes aerodactyl as well so um yeah mystery fossil could evolve into either one of those three it was a very useful card so um yeah as i said i'll, I'll i'm returning them on the basis of conditions so i won't say any more than that um but hopefully you're gonna get some more um yes just some more um but yes and they're on 8 25 minutes yeah i could probably break out a little bit longer okay so what we're gonna do is open a couple of booster packs hopefully we get some luck uh it'd be lovely to get some luck actually so we're gonna open the lugia one first Okay, for you online card users. So it's one, two, three, four from the back. Guess the energy game. I'm going to say lightning. It's psychic. Okay. Oh, can we get that focused? There we go. Ah, Diddy Bird. Uh, appropriate because we are nearly to Christmas. Bayleaf. And Pseudo Widow. I've not actually, these are brand new cards. I've never seen, not seen Pseudo Widow before. So that's quite a nice uh, addition. Scoo! How do you do? Chansey. Cyndaquil. The non holographic is a Fampy. And then the rare is a non holographic Lantern. Okay. And the final one, final booster for today. Is a Zora. Okay. There is the code card. I will fold them so that we don't use them again. One, two, three, four. Uh, lightning. Okay, it's water. 
Right. Let's hope we get some uh, last pack magic. Professor Elm's lecture. Okay. Slowpoke. Ruxfish. Lavater. The reverse. And the rare. Is a non holographic Wobbuffet. Okay. So that is all I have time for today. But I'll be doing another video uh, about sh showcasing my friend's very generous um, card giving to the channel. <clears throat> uh, shout out to my good friend Chris Smith, who donated some. Uh, well, we haven't received them all yet, but we received a fair amount of holographic cards, which is incredibly generous. Now, some of you will have seen it on my uh, post earlier in. Well, I don't know when this will be posted, this video, so uh, if you scroll back, then you'll actually see um, the post update. But that is just, I, I was astounded when he donated these cards to the channel because some of them I'd actually been looking for. Um, do you know what? I'm not even going to bother making this another video. I'm just going to show him now. This card... If I could put uh, sound effects in the background, I would. It would be celebrations, fireworks, and just, yeah, me just being really happy. Um, this card is awesome, and yeah, I'm really happy to see Dark Glass Toys in my collection. Um, so, mwah. good card. Actually, I want to move a card to the back so we can save it for last. Just going to do a quick rearrange of the cards. <clears throat> okay, right. I mean, obviously, this is probably the best card that we have in there in this video. But I shall show him anyway right there because I am, um, yeah, I'm really happy with that, actually. I said, don't worry, Chris. I shall give you a free signed card from a Capone channel. That is on your way, sir. <laughs> okay, right. So... <clears throat> Let's get that camera sorted. Right, so we have a holographic Rapidash. From my th uh, this is Neo. Uh, but I, I can't remember which one it is. It might be Genesis. But um, this is a Neo card. So you can see by the uh, border. So quite an old card. And then we have non-holographic Articuno. Hopefully it will focus. Or just blur. No? You just want to blur? By the way, if you want to donate me a, uh, a phone Kapow channel, then I'm more than happy for that. <laughs> so this is a... Um, right there, you can see the fossil stamp. So it's a non-holographic Articuno. Then we have a holographic Gengar from Fossil. You have a holographic Moo Moo Milk. Again, from Neo. We have a, I'm going to have to read that, Strength Charm. We have a Light Dragonite. Which, I, in all honesty, I'd never seen before. I didn't even know this card existed. So, I was really taken aback by it when I saw it. So, yeah, really happy with that. I believe that is from Jim Challenge, I think. Jim here is a Jim Challenge. I believe it's Jim Challenge. Correct me if I'm wrong online. So we have an Alakazam from Neo as well, which, again, I'd never seen the car before. I didn't even know it existed, so I was really... Um, yeah, I was really excited when I... I'm really excited when I see vintage cards I've never seen before. And this is one of them that I was really curious about. Then we have a Caesar. Looking fantastic. And he's a holographic too. And then finally, my favourite card, which I've actually been looking for. Of course, apart from the Dark Blast toys from Rocket. Sorry, Itchy Nose. Apart from the Dark Blast toys from Rocket. <clears throat> We have Kabutops, which oh, I tell you, it was these two cards that did it for me. 
um i've been actually looking at trying to uh source them so to get them donated is i've never known charity like it before i'm humbled by it but still i shall send him a uh a signed card from the Pokemon channel, Kapow channel, and also a custom booster. So I need to get on and make that right now, actually. But anyway, so what was meant to be three videos uh, turned out to be one big video. But I thought a lot has happened um, recently for me. And I thought I shall just throw it all what I have uh, recently collected in a video. Um, but yeah, so yeah, that's, that's all from me. Don't forget to obviously follow the Instagram channel where Caps will be happy to, or happy to take your questions, um, and lead the conversations. But yeah, so thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel as well as the Instagram accounts. Like the, uh, smash the like button below if you really like this content and yeah i shall see you at the next video so that's all from me thank you for watching and see you later bye